Welcome to a new update, an update of the Sonic Songcos in Songcos Worlds. And you may have noticed we are applying our own heart branding and we are sharing more of what is happening behind the scenes. And since we are settled, it's also easier to communicate, to be available and to do what we are doing. So update for the end of 2021. Yeah, time runs, time really runs. And sometimes I wonder, for somebody who steps out of time quite frequently, it seems to be even faster. And yet it seems to be very slow from the perspective of the shifts that are happening. Maybe all of us would like to see things moving faster, but they take the time they take. So what has been up in our world? We have been looking a lot at the stars, at astrology. We have been figuring out how the energies of the lunar eclipse, the upcoming solstice, in general, we, we have been quite interested in exploring that and what it really means. And one of the astrologers we follow is uh, Bracha Goldsmith, and she's very fascinating. And, and one of the things that came out and really hit all home was about stepping beyond. So, so taking your own ways, if you want, beyond your gifts, what you're doing, take it beyond, let go of whatever is holding you back and just taking it beyond. So since I love Beyond Horizons and Beyond in general, I really, really heard that call. For us, it's really taking beyond the pillars of what we're already doing. So obviously it's around the arts, the music, and for Ceci, the, the painting and the dream catchers and the art craft. And for me, it's also, of course, the writing. And the other thing that we are taking beyond is maybe those spiritual gifts and treasures that we have and often maybe not hide, but not fully bring in. And so this is the second message that came out very beautifully in that lunar eclipse that just passed on the 19th of November. And so... Yes, the shamanic side, this is another part that I'm ready to take beyond. Not just the sound, but also the sound and the drums that Ceci plays. And what really feels very important now that stepping into the invisible, as we call it in the shamanic world, the lower and the middle and the higher worlds, really going in there and really doing what needs to be done, clearing and setting free all these old energies that have been holding us for a very, very long time. And of course, the shamanic work is also very beautiful with the story and the sound and the light spirit medicine, the power or spirit animals. And so, yes, we, we feel it's time to take this beyond and also to cultivate it. So this is another aspect that Bracha brought into her talk. And when you take something beyond, but you don't really make it part of your life, it doesn't really go anywhere. The other part, and I always look like for a bigger term that I think is simply the light work. So the light work is also something to take beyond. It's what's happening intergalactically, that's where the astrology comes in, that's where the ascension comes in, the awakening. And for almost 20 years, possibly more, I have been very active in, in that field. I have been working with ascended masters and angels and the dragons and the unicorns. And so it's really time to take it beyond, but also cultivate it. And the other thing, that seems to be very important for us is, is the yoga and the qigong and yoga in particular kundalini but it's not about kundalini we're trying to be on the mat every day 
five to seven days a week. And most of the time we actually manage seven days. And it's maybe not about a whole, a whole class that we are taking from someone. We do three times seven minutes in different poses and whatever else comes into it. The other thing that is related to yoga, but not directly yoga, is the whole self-inquiry, self-discovery, that whole philosophy, if you wish, around Ramana Maharashi, Advaita, non-duality, all of that, that is surely another very important pillar that needs to be pushed beyond on our side. And the last one is still the, the, the academic that, um, that did fascinate me and, and I'm still totally surprised how I f fell into that. Again, we're talking 20 years and now ago but that ability to to teach and to learn about language and culture about popular culture semiotics ethics philosophy and it all just literally fell into my lap but i'm still taking out a lot of things that came alongside with it the the theories that i brought into my life as a praxis and so yeah, it's really a good time to go beyond and to cultivate this unique gifts that you have. And yes, I mean spiritual gifts. So this is our general update. What does it mean in regards to what we are doing? Well, first of all, maybe I want to start with um, 11 keys to awakening and heart consciousness. Still working on it, but it will come out very soon. We're starting on the 10th of December and it leads into a solstice ceremony. The videos that we're releasing daily, they are for free. And in these videos, we talk about these keys. And obviously, we meditate together with you to really help you to prepare and then on the 21st of December we do a solstice ceremony. This will be for exchange but kind of a donation kind of thing because we really feel we want to make that accessible for everybody and anybody. So this is one thing. The second that is really exciting is about the Monaiki. We call it Beyond Monaiki as we have always enjoyed putting our own flavor to it when we were giving these nine rides and then the 13th ride that came through and very happy now because actually three more rides came in and we're very clear our monarchy is also very sonic so the initiations are very much into sound and relationships and we've got some people interested now and we're just looking for one or two more to run a very private monarchy. So that is one of the important things. The other thing is really that the website has now the school showing you what different kinds of things you can do with us and also the privates, the different ways of interacting. So until the end of the year, we will not take a break apart from maybe social media free weekends. Um, we actually will be available for privates. We will do the Monaiki and we're also going to do another heart branding free event to get you into the mode of heart branding. And as it seems, the um, maverick of your own heart brand is also coming, which is a course, a program. Yes. Yeah, so in a nutshell, this is really what is going on in the world of the Sonic Song Course. And I'm really hoping that you're, you're staying strong, you're staying connected, and you can open your heart more. And I wish you all the best, many, many blessings. And I do hope to see you before the end of 2021. And of course, even more excited to journey with you into 2022. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm 
catch up with you really soon. Don't be shy. We are very personal, private. Send us a message and we answer. We, we have chosen not to go big. So we are really here to talk with you heart to heart whenever you are ready. Take good care. See you soon.